Right, okay, everyone, welcome aboard uh, the Finnair 43 Lima, just flying from Bergen in Norway to Zurich in Switzerland. Uh, we're currently turning over Winterthur, I believe. Hopefully, this is Winterthur, otherwise, I'm mistaken. Okay, that might be Winterthur there, actually. So, this is some random ville, I think. Rappersville or something like that. Let's have a zoom in on the map. Frauenfeld, Mülheim, Wallenfelden, Erlen, Amrisville. Ah, St. Gallen is still quite far away. I'm in the wrong valley, the villas are somewhere else. Anyway, so we're currently just turning onto the RLS runway 28 at Zurich International Airport. We've got a little warning here, it says in-op systems engine 1 loop B, which I believe is a fire system that's just uh, come up as a random error. Um, so we'll get that fixed from on the ground, but it's not been anything, there's no land immediately warnings or anything like that, so this is absolutely fine. Um, Approach wise, then I'm just going to start adding in the um, approach phase there. We've already got all of the data set, so the QH is uh, 1033, 7 degrees Celsius, and we've got 250 degrees at 10 knots. So uh, it's what I think they call a visa. I'm not sure though. Not sure what the wind is called, but basically it means it's preferable for smaller aircraft to land on runway 28 in any case. Um, we've got the newly updated FS Dream Team scenery, so we'll see how that looks. Uh, should be nice, hopefully. We're going to set auto brake medium for this one. Um, reason being is we can try and do the land and hold short operations where we don't uh, overshoot the crossing runway, and that way we can make a nice good stop and kind of ensure we can taxi off quite quickly, actually. So, yeah, we're just descending down now. I'm going to go into the first officer seat so we've got a better view. So the airport is, there we go, there's runway 28 identified. So the visual approach actually would come along this motorway here and we would, this is one of the reporting points, this forest here, uh, part of the online training I've done because I actually do intend on one day flying to Zurich airport with my little tiny plane. Um, and then you follow across to here and then you get to this valley here and then we turn, do a left turn and join final runway 28 or you do a right turn or, and join final runway 14. Those are your options basically. For GA, you always have to land relatively quickly, so um, you can only have about a thousand meters to, to work with before the. Um, yeah, before basically you need to kind of be down. Okay, so there we go, coming down now nicely. We've got 214 knots. I'm going to just use a little bit of spoiler just so we can reliably get the first layer of flaps in under 230. It's just going to spoil on my way down basically. Zurich traffic Finnair 43 Lima is inbound to Ramem for runway 28 ILS approach 13 miles currently. Okay, we're going to start that localizer turn shortly. There we go, is the speed reliably below 230 knots? It is indeed, so I'm just going to make sure that stays true. Set flaps 1. Just gotta make sure we keep that speed now. <laughs> we're very close to the limits. Now we're gonna arm approach mode as well. Coming in quite hot to be honest, um, but that's fine, we'll, we'll sort something out. Now there is a nice little castle somewhere on one of these hills as you come into Zurich from the um from the east actually, facing west as, as we are. Um I'm not sure if you can see it in the game, it might just be a building. But yeah, there's definitely some cool little valleys here that you can kind of see. Okay, so Zurich's in sight, we've got the flaps one set, we're 10 miles to go, speed slowly coming down, um, we'll just do a full flap deployment at about 8 miles. And that'll mean that we can get all of our speeds back down. Okay, nine miles to go, just getting some slight turbulence as you can see there. Okay, eight miles gear down. Speed check for flaps two. Just watching that vector come up now. Yeah, it's going back down once that flaps two, it's gonna be quite fast. Okay, 
that's very really safe to come out now. Probably going to keep us at quite a high ground speed. As you can see, we've got 28 knots currently from ahead, um, which is definitely the wind conditions that I was talking about. Not entirely sure the, the correct name for it, but there's Zurich itself down there. No, that's not Zurich, that's Dukendorf. It's an air base, and up on the hill over here is the zoo of Zurich, and then Zurich City is down there at the back. Okay, flaps full, five miles to go, fully established and stable. Now we will be kind of following the terrain in, so to speak. Um, you can kind of see here, it's quite a hilly area. Um, so yeah, we will kind of be quite close to the ground as we come down towards the airport. The airport's the lowest point here in the valley below. Uh, we are domestic European One flight thousand. today, although we've come from a non-Schengen country. Let me just check if Norway is in Schengen. Norway, Schengen. Uh, Iceland, Norway, Switzerland and Liechtenstein are members of the Schengen area, so we will be landing and vacating left. If we were coming from a non-Schengen area, we would have to vacate right, as that's the international terminal. Um, but Schengen arrivals basically are allowed to act as domestic. Yeah, you can see we're kind of coming in now, so I'm just going to turn off that autopilot now. A little bit of turbulence. Can go these hills now. Zurich traffic, Fin Air 4 3 Lima, Shore Final Runway 28. Hundred above. Five hundred. Minimum. I'm gonna continue the approach. A little bit wobbly, but we're okay and we're visual. Speed is stable, wind's cutting down. Four hundred. Gusty, gusty, gusty. 300. This makes sense, this was coming through Austria last night. It was quite a strong wind from 260 degrees or so. 17 knots at the moment, 21. So, yeah, gusty. Can expect a gusty landing. I'm just going to get it down, I'm not going to focus on flaring too much. One hundred. 50, 40, 30, 20, restart, 10, 5. That's what I mean. No need to focus on trying too hard to flare because the... Uh, <laughs> the wind will do that for you. Okay, there we go, okay. Nearly no reverse thrust because it took so long to kick in that I just gave up on it. Okay, we're going to taxi into one of these little nooks over here. Has this been updated? Well, it's been updated, isn't it? Could be better. Expecting mad improvements. Maybe there's been a new roof or something like that. Okay, landing rate, let's quickly find that out. Well, it's 212 feet per minute at 1.01 G, just after taxiway kilo, so within the last touchdown zone marker, one, two, three, we were just before the second one. It's overall quite an acceptable, acceptable touchdown.
Okay, parking brake set, we'll just wait for the APU. APU is available. Engine 1 and 2 offline. Watch for the EGTs. EGTs rolling back. Beacon light off. Ground crew can approach now. Okay, here comes jetway. Drops and planes are set. <laughs> 